This video is sponsored by BitBay. <clears throat> Good morning, guys. Uh, I don't even want to wake up right now. Every day of summer, I've been waking up pretty late, but today is a little different. I have to wake up a lot earlier because um, I have a lot to do today. Like, it's the point where I don't even know where to start, and I'm just very, very kind of overwhelmed with everything. But we only have a few days left of summer break. Um, we're starting school in like a really short period of time, like probably four or five days. We'll be back in school, which freaks me out. Um, but um, I'm just gonna make the best of the days I have left, and hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Um, except for today. Today is gonna be so busy, and I just really I don't want to be up right now. But I really do have to start. I feel like so musty, dusty, and crusty. Like I'm just gonna go take a shower. Um, do my makeup and then get ready and just do everything else I have to do. But first I need to like look like a human. So Lola, what are you eating? Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. <sighs> okay, so I just got out of the shower and oh my gosh, I'm like kind of overwhelmed with everything that I have to do today. Um, I have to dry my hair, I have to do my makeup, and I have to go eat breakfast, and then I have to get ready for my orthodontist appointment, which means scrubbing my teeth, and, uh, yeah, I just, thinking about it all, it's like making me in a very rushed mood, and I actually do have to be rushed because the appointment for the orthodontist is soon, and I still have a lot of things to do, so I better hurry up because I took a little too long in the shower, and now it's going to cost me, so, yeah. That's basically how my morning is looking so far, but I wish it was just my morning that was busy because it's my whole day that's busy, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. Okay guys, I finished drying my hair, doing my hair and makeup, and I ate breakfast, and now I'm literally moments away from going to the orthodontist, so you know what that means. Before any orthodontist visit, I scrub my teeth so they're squeaky clean, and you know what makes the job so much easier? Is using these Bitvay cleaning tools, this electric toothbrush, and it's such a great and affordable toothbrush. I use this all the time. And same with this Bitvay water flosser. Oh my goodness, these have saved my life and changed my cleaning game. Like, ever since I got braces, I've been like a crazy, you know, obsessed with cleaning my teeth and make sure they are under the best care. And this really does the job. So basically, Let's start off with this toothbrush. I need to brush my teeth. Um, this comes with all kinds of different nozzles and tips. And of course, you have all these different settings based on what you want to focus. If you want to whiten your teeth, clean them, you can focus on gum care, all that. So it's always like a necessity to focus on different things, whether you're cleaning your teeth. And of course, it has a um, pressure sensor. So if you are brushing your teeth too hard, it will alert you, which I think is super awesome. Um, not only that, this was shocking to me, but if you download the app as well, it will tell you, like, it will give you almost a report of how you brush your teeth, what zones you have to focus on, this and everything. It's like, it's crazy technology and it works so great because I always get the best clean. So let me go ahead and brush my teeth and then after that I always use my water flosser. So let's go ahead and do that. It's so much more quiet than a regular electric toothbrush. I love it. Okay, I'm absolutely in love with this toothbrush and especially because the battery lasts so long. Like probably you can go a hundred days without charging it. It is insane and I love about it. I love it so much. It comes with a travel case which is so essential. We're always going to Poland so I love this. And yeah, now that I've brushed my teeth, I gotta floss. Flossing regularly is literally impossible with braces and it takes forever. This is like 
so easy and you're done. Um, it also comes with a ton of different nozzle tips. Um, I use the smallest one because it gives me, I guess, the best pressure and the best clean. So it has different modes um, and it goes up to 120 um, PSI, which is like the water pressure, which is very, very great because it gets everything out. And it has a refillable water tank here, so whenever you run low on water, you can refill it with this. And it is, I, I honestly have no words. It's so incredible. Um, the toothbrush also came with this little tooth mirror. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but at the end, I always use this to make sure I got everything. Because uh, the last thing I want is food to be still stuck between my teeth. And then, of course, a tongue scraper. This is so essential. It's almost as important as actually brushing your teeth because makes your breath smell a lot better. If you have food on your tongue, then that's not good. So I always use this, and I think that it makes my teeth cleaning journey so easy. So let me go ahead and finish off with this, and I'll be done. My mouth feels so clean, my teeth feel amazing, and I know my orthodontist is gonna be very happy and proud of me for how far I've come. So I can't wait to see what he says, and yeah. I really gotta get going because if I don't leave now, I'm gonna be late, so let's go! Okay, so I just left the orthodontist and it was really quick. Uh, they actually did compliment my teeth. They said they're really clean and the, the, my overbite is fixing itself, so it's going good. The way I wear the rubber band kind of stayed the same. Um, I changed my, they changed the rubber bands and the wire. So now I have like a thicker gauge wire. And yeah, other than that, that's all they did and it was a really quick visit. And now we are heading to the cardiologist. Um, I'm kind of, this morning has been very packed because we've been already heading to the orthodontist and now next stop is the cardiologist, so yeah. We are now stuck in traffic on the highway. Um, there's an accident. Yeah, there's an accident and I'm trying to make it to my cardiologist appointment. But, I don't know, they have like a 15 minute late policy and we're only going to be there in like 17 minutes, so... That's great. We might miss the appointment, but hopefully not. Uh, I just hope we make it. Major accident, it says. Oh, hold on, let me show you. I don't know if you can even see that, but it says major accident. It's like really... We've been moving like this forever. From the last one. Almost an hour. Yeah, almost an hour. Like we and left. It's supposed to take us 23 minutes to get there. Yeah. Normally it's a 20 minute drive, <laughs> but so far we've been driving for an hour, but whatever. Are you kidding me? have to be in front of us. Seriously? We were about to pass this accident and we were about to go. And really. Yeah, we gotta drive. Okay. Well, we might make it. Okay, guys, we made it. Somehow we made it. There was that major accident. And then once we passed it, we were going for like two minutes fast. And we were like, this is gonna work out. It's gonna be fine. And then we got into another minor crash and it was traffic all over again. We made it here at 8.14. 8.14 and they let us in, so it's fine. <laughs> but I'm just glad we made it because I was not about to drive back here again next week. Mm -mm. But now I am in a gown and they're gonna do an EKG and I'll go from there.
Okay, uh, it has been a long day so far and it's only midday and I'm like already ready for bed. Like I'm so tired, but I still have to do a lot today. Uh, we just got home and we ate lunch and uh, well, okay, so about the cardiologist is that everything went fine. Um, everything was pretty normal, so the only the reason I went was because my uh, blood pressure was like low and high. It was like up and down, and like I also passed out on Monday at a water park, so it was concerning in my mom's eyes. So I, I mean, I felt fine other than a headache, but it's still wet and everything's fine. Uh, that was the update. I do have to start baking though, so um, yeah, I have to bake this cake. We have to decorate the whole house and outside for her pool party. Um, this is, well, I kind of spoiled it, but can you guess the theme? I mean, we're having a pool party, but it's kind of obvious. And it's what Leah's is... birthday. Oh, yes, it is Leah's birthday tomorrow. And <sighs> I have to bake her cake. And we yeah, have two school orientations today. Both me and Leah are going to like the same school, so I have to go to the school or orientation at her time and show her the whole school and then I have to go at my time to get my schedule and stuff so that's great and I just really have to rush because I still have to start getting ready for the school orientation thing and yeah I'm gonna just start baking though because I really need to go to work so yeah so two cakes are in the oven two are already done here and they're cooling and right now I have to make the frosting I'm making like a whipped cream frosting so it's very light and um, I'm gonna put a lot of fruit in the middle, probably some grapes too. So it's gonna be very summery, very refreshing, light, fruity cake. And yeah, I still have a long way to go, but right now I'm just gonna start to make the whipped cream frosting and um, hopefully it should be ready before the school orientation, which is at four and it's two right now. So I have like two hours to finish this or at least, or at least make some progress. So, yeah. <laughs> okay guys, um, spoiler alert, the cake is not done yet. Um, I was working on it and I just didn't get it done. I had to start getting ready for the school orientation. Right now I'm going with Leah, she's in the back. Hi. And um, we're going to hers and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna try and finish the cake and then get ready for my school orientation, which is at, change? I changed because I was not about to go in my apron. Um, and plus, yeah, I just smelled like cake, so I had to change. And yeah, um, we're heading to my incredible, fascinating, lovely school that I'm so happy to go to. I, it felt like it just ended and... Okay, great. It felt like it just ended and we're already going back. Hmm, somebody, you know, never mind. This is like my first year of middle school. Yeah, hi. At least you have three years in here. I have one, so. I. I'm trying not to show you. Anyways, um, you know we're heading to school. Um, one out of two times today, and I just feel like we've been in in and out of the car like all day. At least me. I've been up since like 6 a.m. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, <sighs> I'm getting car sick, but you know it's fine. We're heading to school. Miss like Cox is your teacher. Miss Cox is my uh, sixth grade teacher. I don't like this at all. This is where you'll be walking in every morning. I don't think we're going this way. We go. We're going that way. Never mind. <laughs> well, uh, that was embarrassing. I just like pulled the door, and the, uh, it didn't even open. It's fine. Hey guys, so um, basically I'm coming back home and as you can tell it's like dark and very rainy. Um, I'm coming back not from Leah's orientation but my orientation now. So it's like 6.30 and I just finished up mine. The cake is still not done, which is a problem because I... Actually it's not that much of a problem. If I finish it tonight and put it in the fridge, it'll be ready for tomorrow. The only thing is, is that my stomach has been hurting all day, has been killing me. I don't know how I'll be able to stand much longer to finish the cake, but I'll figure it out. Um, it has to be done. And then Leah tomorrow has a doctor's appointment in the morning, so that will give us time. She has like her 11 year old checkup, and that will give us enough time to set up and prepare everything outside. And when she gets back, it'll be like, whoa, surprise! Um, yeah, it's not like, yeah. It's not like she didn't have any idea about this because she knows. 
about the party. It's not a surprise party because, gosh, she has been planning this for months, so it kind of has to be perfect. However, it's a pool party, and tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so I don't know how much pool we're going to do and how much... I don't know. We were supposed to set up outside, but I don't know what what's going to happen. But hopefully when her party is, it's not going to rain too much, but we'll see. Honestly, we have, we have no idea. But yeah, that's the current update, and I'm heading home, and I'm going to finish baking. Okay, honestly... Last night, I was so exhausted. I was working on this cake, and it got to a point where I'm like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. So I just went to bed. Literally, all I did was brush my teeth. I, I didn't even feel like taking off my makeup or putting on my pajama. I just went to bed. That's it. That's all I did. And so I got up earlier this morning to finish the cake, and I did finish it. So aloha themed. Here we go. We got all these flowers up here and little umbrellas. And I don't know what you call these, but they add a little Hawaiian accent. So this cake is really heavy. Plus we set up all these decorations and presents. I kind of set up the snack table um, and we have a lot of party favors and like just everything Hawaiian, full party themed. So I think this cake is a great addition as well. And I can't wait for all of Leah's guests to try it and for Leah herself to try it. Leah, do you like the cake? Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, well, that's all I really needed. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to BitBay for sponsoring this video. And if you want more information, go ahead and go down to the description. And honestly, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a very long, hard, chaotic video, but it all worked out in the end, didn't it? And my hands are about to fall off from holding this cake, so I'm just going to end all this video here. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Mwah.